year what the Lord has done in my life. Um, in December 2012, I was diagnosed with cancer in my right breast, the, the lower part. And um, in January 2013, I had an lumpectomy and lymph was removed under my right arm. And uh, the doctor said to me that I had to have chemotherapy, radiation, and to take a pill for the rest of my life. And um, this didn't gel with me because I serve Elohim Chaim, the God of life. And uh, on the 3rd of March 2013, we had intercessors in our house to pray and to ask the Lord which route to take whether he wants me to do chemo or the alternative medicine route. During this time, I had a counter with the living God and I believe um, and I know and understand today that he had to bring me to that place for him to deal with something and deliver me of something that happened while I was still in my mother's womb. And I know that that day, the 3rd of March 2013, Jesus healed me of the sickness. Um, but I still had to go through the, the treatment to strengthen my physical body, which I did. It took from February 2013 to September 2013 when the whole program was completed. But I know that the Lord had to bring me to this point in my life so that He can prepare me and make me ready for the destiny that I have in Him. And although it wasn't an easy road, um, there's times in the house where I just wanted to weep and I would just wait, um, not understanding because your emotions going up and down all the time. And um, it doesn't matter what people say or do because people don't always know how to respond when you have cancer. But it doesn't matter what they say or do, it's a path between you and the Lord and it's all about Jesus. Before we came to Israel, September 2015 now, I had my yearly checkup and all everything was normal. So the Lord is just blessing me and confirming my healing that Jesus did for me. And I'm here today at Magdala to share my destiny with friends and to just give praise and glory to my healer. Jesus Messiah. Thank you.